So today's video is about box liners and when should you use one? So it's that time of year again. Lots of us are out there digging or planning new ponds and um, also wondering whether or not uh, to use a box liner or whether it's the best thing for you. So I've got a few good hints and tips um, before you actually make the plunge into buying a box weld liner and whether or not it's the right type of liner for you. Before we start, um, if you like the video, click the like button down, down below there. And um, we're a fairly new channel as well, so it would really help us if you want to subscribe. Basically, we, we do videos like this all the time. and uh, We show you how we do things and also give you loads and loads of hints, free advice, how to look after your pond and um, how to keep it in good shape all year round. Um, also great if you're working on a budget too. So first things first, box weld liners are awesome. But just because they're awesome doesn't mean that they're going to be suitable for you. So for those of you that don't know what a box weld liner is, so it's basically a liner made in a factory, made to your specifications um, and dimensions of your pond. So when you get it back, you just literally unfold it and it slips straight in. No folds, really easy to install. So what type of shapes can you have a box liner for? You might actually be surprised at the amount of shapes and styles of box lining you can have. The main thing to remember is it needs to have straight edges, straight sides, um, a flat bottom, and you can't, you can't have gradients. So as the name suggests, um, a box liner, you can have rectangles, squares, um, you can even have planting shelves built into them. But remember, it all has to have straight edges and corners. Uh, but you can also have circular ponds with straight sides. So in fact, one of the biggest box weld liner ponds we actually relined, um, it was about a 33,000 gallon pond. It was a monster. So it had a old swimming pool liner installed on it. And I don't know how old that was, um, but that had completely gone. The pond was a complete mess. Um, so we drained it, cleaned it, removed the old lining, um, tidied up any areas that needed it. Also um, underlay down and then of course this absolute beast of a liner, very very heavy, uh, we had to have forklifted in. That unraveled and fitted perfectly which is quite incredible. You can also have like L shaped horns, Z style shaped horns um, or even um, in the picture I'll show you now the, the, this particular pond we put in. It had a um, shallow area at the top where there was a water blade going into um, a small pond that then fed through a narrow rill and then it went to the main pond um, and also in the main pond there was a deeper section uh, from one side to the other and that was the area the pump was in so um, quite a few corners in that one again when they rolled sorry when we rolled that one out I'm um, very impressed as long as you get your dimensions right these guys in the factory are amazing they can actually make you a liner that will fit into a, a, a really strange shape pond like this one um, to be honest, you, you wouldn't be able to put a normal liner in a pond shape like this. You'd have so many folds, it would be an absolute mess. Okay, so tip number one. Now, you might think this sounds pretty obvious, but do not order your pond liner before you've dug out your pond. Especially until you've got all your edges done, um, sides of the pond are finished, um, until the actual shape or shells finished completely then it's time to order it in. No matter how good your your, uh, your building skills are, um, there's unforeseen circumstances that can happen. So you might be digging down and there's um, hidden pipe work, the water table might come up, you might have to change your design. So just, just bear in mind, if you order the uh, box liner and you can't use it, they won't take it back. Obviously it's just, it's a unique um, product, so they won't be able to resell that. So if, you, if it doesn't fit, um, you won't be able to get your money back. What we usually do is get the build finished, um, order the liner in, and during that time while we wait for the liner to arrive, there's usually plenty to do. You know, you've got lots of pipe work to do, filtration, um, things like that really. So by the time you've done that, um, hopefully the liner will have arrived, then you can put the liner in without wasting any time. Okay, so tip number two. So. Box liners have to have straight edges and corners. Um, so when a box liner comes out, it has corners, but the corners are round. Um, they're not as like um, straight as you'd, as you'd think. So um, the problem with a round corner going into a square corner 
is you're going to get a little bit of a void and with all that water on top of that corner that water is literally going to squeeze that liner into that void and it can stretch the liner so in time it could actually split it so what we recommend to do with square corners is cement it out um, or whatever material you're going to use and just round those corners off ever so slightly um, just to make sure when it's full of water the actual line is resting flush against your new rounded square so your rounded cement edge okay so tip number three is avoid flat bottom ponds so this is a really important part so when you design your pond you can actually make your pond work for you so if you have a flat bottom pond you're going to get loads and loads of dead spots the dirt won't make it to your pump or your bottom drain properly you're going to get loads of areas where it all just gathers and settles so if you're building a pond from scratch this is probably the main reason why we don't use a box liner so when we build a pond we always like to build it with a deep spot so the deep spot ideally will have your pump in or your bottom drain and the idea is as the dirt goes down it falls into the deep area your pump or your drain catches the dirt and sends it to your filter so a good way to think about it is when you design your pond design it almost like a swimming pool or a bath um, so you have a nice gradient going down um, or you can have a few shelves going down whatever it may be uh, but a deeper area nevertheless and also your pump in that part also if you have your pump in a nice deep spot you can also install a few inlets to shoot the water around cause a nice current not rapids but a nice flow um, to sort of lift dirt off the bottom and push it towards your pump or your bottom drain and that will also then send the dirt to your filters where you can clean your filter and technically leaving your pond nice and clean so if you're looking to have your box liner with a deeper area before you even dig the pond get your design sent off for the company to double check that they're able to build the liner to your specifications first of all now the other good benefit about a deeper area in a pond is future proofing your pond when it comes to cleaning it so at some point down the line you may need to drain and clean your pond for whatever reason um, you may not intend to do it from the start but down the line or for a few years it may just need a good clean out uh, with a nice deep spot down there obviously your pump can sit in there or your bottom drain might be down there um, obviously switch on your pump sucks all the water out and all the dirt will find, find its way down into that deeper area where your pump can then suck it out and then the last few bits if you have a, a, um, a vacuum that can go down there you can start jet washing off all the sides and you'll just watch all the dirt flowing down to your, your vacuum and being sucked out it makes it so much easier we always design our ponds like this with the cleaning reason in mind as well so one of the main reasons we design ponds like this obviously to have the deep spot but um, we don't like to see uh, pipe work everywhere and obviously some people don't want to see a pump so doing it this way you can have a deep spot against the wall somewhere out the way um, out of view and also pipe where it can be a minimum so the only problem with designing it like this is you probably won't be able to get a box weld liner made just to have a small deep spot um, in a corner or along the side of a wall somewhere but don't be put off so if you have a, a rectangular pond or a square pond um, if you use a one-piece liner that needs folding um, that's what we use quite often so you can have your deeper spot wherever that may be and um, you can fold your liner with just four folds so um, I'll put some pictures up of ones we've done already um, it shows you how neat the job is so you only have two folds on each side and then even if you didn't want those folds to flap generally they don't because as the pond fills up the weight of the water sort of pushes it against and squashes it nice and neatly in there um, but you could seal it first so you could you know um, glue the um, the folds to the main liner itself so you don't really see them either so it still looks nice but you get the benefit of obviously a, um, a pond with a deeper area and also four folds so you, you probably won't even notice them as well so like the pond we showed you before the big circular pond that we did um, that one couldn't be modified for a um, for a deeper area so um, it was in, all in the budget it was agreed that they wanted to have it as it was um, so if that's the case for you and you can't change it or modify it then obviously go box liner 100 percent it's so easy to fit you won't be you won't be uh, unhappy with your purchase okay so the last thing so how can you have a box weld liner with a deeper spot so majority of the time a box weld liner will actually suit a bottom drain so, so let's just say for instance you've got a square or a rectangular pond standard size um, once you've fitted the liner and it's into all the corners 
um, box liners will have a natural sag in the middle. So if you use that sag to your advantage and you angled the base of your pond um, with your bottom drain in the middle, you've got a really nice deep spot going down towards that drain. So that's ideal. And also you can use it as a pump fed system as well. Um, obviously the pump would have to be in the middle and you'd have a bit more pipe work showing. So if that didn't phase you and you didn't mind having your pump in the middle, you can have a nice box liner with a deep spot. So that's perfect for that. Yes, yeah, so this is the time to, to build your pond to, to suit your needs. So um, just take some time, design it properly. Don't rush out and buy a box liner just because they're easy to install. And also, you know, technically you won't have any folds. Bear in mind, you may still get creases though, so don't expect a seamless finish. If you like the video and you found it useful, let us know, smash that like button. If you wanna see some more videos like this and you thought it was useful, don't hesitate, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.